Hello and welcome to ASTAR Network. In this guide, we'll go over the features of the ASTAR portal. The tutorials after this guide will go over step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the portal. This will serve as more of a general overview of the features and what's possible using the portal. Let's jump in. The first thing we'll need to do is connect our wallet to the ASTAR portal. You'll find the connect button in the top right corner of your screen. Go ahead and click this. You'll notice that there are many different wallets you can connect to the ASTAR portal. And there are two different types of wallets, EVM and native. If you're new to the .sama ecosystem, this is an important distinction. Native wallets are Polkadot native wallets, and EVM are going to be your standard Ethereum virtual machine wallets, like MetaMask. Both wallets will have different functionality and different features. It is important to know the distinction between the two. It is also important to set up both wallets because you will be using both in the ASTAR ecosystem and on the ASTAR portal. In the EVM category, you'll notice MetaMask, Talisman, and SubWallet. Talisman and SubWallet are unique wallets because they support both EVM accounts and native accounts in one wallet. And under native account, you'll notice many different wallets. To start, we're gonna connect using the Polka.js wallet. So go ahead and click polkadot.js. If it is your first time connected to the portal, you will be prompted to allow access to your wallet. I've already connected before, so that dialog box didn't pop up for me. I'm gonna go ahead and select the account I'd like to connect. If you have multiple accounts in your wallet, you'll see multiple options here. I only have one, so we'll just connect to that one. Go ahead and click connect. To start, we'll go over the assets tab. It will be the first tab that loads when you connect your wallet. The assets panel shows you all of the assets you have in your wallet. The assets will change depending on if you're connected to EVM or a native wallet. So we're looking at the native wallet assets. As you can see, we have XCM assets and regular assets. Regular assets will be the native token ASTR and XCM assets will be assets from the other chains which ASTAR is connected to. If you're watching this tutorial in the future, you may see many more options under the XCM assets panel. This is also where you can transfer coins to other wallets, as well as transferring your ASTAR from a native account to your EVM account. All you'd have to do is fill in your EVM address in this two section. Great, let's move on to the next tab, dashboard. The dashboard tab gives you all relevant statistics and information relating to all things ASTAR. You can find the circulating supply, holders, block information, and much more. Let's jump over to the final tab, dApp staking. Dapp staking is part of what makes ASTAR so exciting to build on and one of our most unique features. It is our way of providing a basic income for developers building on ASTAR, and it rewards holders for supporting their favorite ASTAR projects. If you're a developer, you can apply to have your dApp listed on the portal, and if you're a holder, you can stake your ASTR supporting your favorite projects and being rewarded for doing so. As you can see, all the most popular dApps on ASTAR are right here, and you can support the ones you like the most by staking on them. We'll go over in another tutorial exactly how you can stake and support your favorite projects. You can also see the register dApp button. This is for developers who would like to register for the dApp staking program. Now let me show you one of the most important features of all. In the bottom left corner of your screen, you'll see a little moon. If you click this, you'll enter dark mode. And just above it is easy access to our social medias, as well as the GitHub and docs. And just below that, you'll see the language selection. All right, great. Let's go ahead and hop back over to assets. I'll now show you the difference between connected to a native wallet and an EVM wallet in the assets panel. We'll now navigate to the top right corner of your screen where you'll see your wallet address. Go ahead and click this and click change. Now I will select MetaMask and connect. I'll select the account which I want to connect and click connect. With your EVM wallet connected, you'll see an entirely different list of assets. These are all EVM compatible assets which you are able to transfer, bridge, and utilize in many different ways in the ASTAR ecosystem. The last feature I'd like to show you is how to switch networks. If you go to the top right corner of your screen, just to the right of your wallet selection, and click the ASTAR network button, from this menu you'll see several network selections. Let's briefly touch on Endpoint before going over the networks. Endpoint is a very useful feature for if you're having any trouble with wallet selection or features loading on the portal. Simply select any of the other endpoints and click connect, and it typically resolves any sort of wallet connection or loading issues. From here, you'll see two of our other networks, Shiden and Shibuya. Shiden is our sister network running on Kusama. Clicking on Shiden and clicking connect will prompt your MetaMask to switch network if you're connected to an EVM wallet. If you're connected to your native wallet, this dialog box won't pop up. Go ahead and click switch, and you'll notice the assets in the portal have changed. These are reflective of the assets that are on the Shiden network. Just below Shiden, you'll see Shibuya. Shibuya is our testnet. 
and below Shibuya is local and custom networks. The main networks which you'll be using as an end user will be Shiden and ASTAR. Thank you for watching this overview of the ASTAR portal, and check out our other tutorials with step-by-step -step instructions on how to use various functions of the portal and projects in the ecosystem.